we are frequently asked to identify plants by digital images that are sent into Backyard Farmer. We want to help you help us by giving you some pointers on one of the most difficult group of plants to identify, the grasses. If you take a wide shot of a grass in within a grass, often we have trouble telling which is which. So what we're going to show you is show you some structures on a grass plant that should be in the pictures you send us, and then we can do a better job being able to give you, one, what the grass is, and two, if you're asking for a recommendation for control, offering some viable options for control. So let's take a look at these structures and explain them in a little bit of detail. Let's start with the leaf blade. The leaf blade comes out of the bud either folded, where it has a distinct midrib, a distinct midline right down the center, or rolled, where it has no distinct midrib. Well, that's one of the first identifying characteristics for grasses, is it rolled or if it's folded. So we need a picture, a close-up of the leaf, or of several leaves, if we can see how that is, whether it's folded or rolled. That's the first step. The second step is what are the structures around where the blade meets the stem? We have the ligule the, and the oracle, and they are also key identifiers in telling you how a grass plants live. Look, for example, ligules can be prominent or they can be absent. Um, oracles can be clasping or absent. These are very distinct characteristics and are critical to being able to identify the grasses properly and give you the information you need. So take a picture up close where the leaf blade meets the sheath and those structures in there. You don't have to identify which one is the ligural, which one is the oracle. You simply have to take a picture close enough that we can see. So you take a picture from the front and then you pull the leaf blade back and take a picture where that leaf blade joins the leaf. That should give you the information you need at least in the top growth for us to identify the grass. And then finally, you might want to dig down and look at the roots. If you can see visible white rhizomes, um, maybe we need to send that as well. That's another step in the direction of being able to properly identify the species that you're interested in. So there's the quick step down the list, right? The leaf, is it rolled or folded? The leaf blade, how does it attach to the, to the stem? And is it is there are liguals and oracles or are they absent? And then finally, take, just take a spade, pull back the root system, take a quick close-up of that. So a single image is often not enough for properly identification. We probably need several. 